Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have an unboxing of the Galaxy S24 Plus. I've picked this up in the color Marble Gray and I have the 256 version. So let's take a look to see what we have inside. And in here, of course, you don't really get much anymore, but we have the SIM injection tool, your paperwork, and a, a USB-C to USB-C cable. Pretty standard. So again, this is the marble gray color. Honestly, in person, it kind of looks like an off-white. I don't know, very, very subtle gray in my opinion. I don't know how everyone else is feeling about this color. I like it, don't get me wrong, I like it, but I think it looks more like an off-white in my opinion. So to the right, we'll have the power button and then the volume rocker. And so for the back, it is a matte finish. We don't have any of that glossy finish, which is great. Always love a matte finish. The side railings here is flat, whereas last year was kind of curved on the side. And that is going to be Armor Aluminum, which is basically the same as the S23 Ultra. So that's nice to see. Um, but again, they are gonna be flat. So this is the first time I've actually had a plus variant. Um, last year I had the S23 Ultra, as well as the baby S23. And then I had pre-ordered the same. So I have the S24 Ultra and the baby S24, uh, but wanted to just go ahead and pick up the Plus to kind of see what this one's all about. But this really just reminds me of the S21 Ultra, which I absolutely loved because it had the rounded edges. I absolutely just love that. Um, the S24 Ultra, obviously it's a beast of the phone, but Personally, I don't really like the boxed off design. I know some people like that, which is great. It is great for watching content, but personally, it's not my favorite, if I'm being honest. But let's get this set up. Okay, so I have everything getting set up here, um, but on the S24 Plus, we are going to have a 6.7 dynamic AMOLED two times display. Uh, we do get Quad HD Plus on this one. Um, which is up from last year. We just had the option of Full HD on the S23 and S23 Plus. The S24 still has Full HD, but we are getting a bump here on the Plus variant. Um, of course, we're still gonna have that 120 Hertz refresh rate. So everything's gonna be buttery smooth on the full S series line. Another change this year is going to be the 2600 nits of outdoor peak brightness. Uh, now keep in mind, that is very bright, but in order to get that bright, you have to be in an outdoor environment. So you're not gonna be able to get the 2600 nits indoor since that's the peak brightness. Um, indoor, it is capped. I'll be honest, I don't recall what it is off the top of my head. But nonetheless, this display is pretty bright regardless. And using the S24 Ultra and the S24, I haven't had any issues, nor have I had issues on the previous S23 series. And this one, of course, is brighter. On the S24 Plus, we are get, getting Gorilla Glass Victus 2, which is essentially the same glass that we had on the S23 Ultra. It's not gonna be the same glass that we have on the S24 Ultra. That one has Gorilla Glass Armor. So they did bump that up for the Ultra this year, but this one is matching the S23 Ultra. And since I'm in the US, I do have the Snapdragon variant, which is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. Um, if you're not in the US, then you will be getting the Exynos variant. That may be a con for some people. I've personally never used an Exynos variant, but if you are outside the US and you're wanting a Snapdragon, then the Ultra is probably gonna be the better bet for you. 
But outside of that, this year, I feel like Samsung has really closed the gap between the Plus and the S24 Ultra. You're getting the similar display. So you are, again, getting that Quad HD. We are getting a slightly larger display on the Ultra at 6.8 versus 6.7. So you are gonna get more screen real estate on the Ultra. And if you care about camera quality, the S24 Ultra is gonna have a significantly higher resolution on that main sensor. You're getting a 200 megapixel sensor versus a 50 megapixel um, and a dual telephoto lens setup with 10 optical zoom and as well as the space zoom, which is what the Ultra is pretty much known for, I would say. But to be honest, I've had the 23 Ultra and Obviously now having the S24 Ultra, I rarely use the 200 megapixel camera. I just kind of do point and shoot photography, if anything. So that's not a big deal for me. It might be a big deal to some, which is understandable. So if that is the case, then I think the Ultra might be a better bet for you, but you're still going to get great photos coming out of the S24 Plus, as well as the regular S24. And this year, Samsung has also bumped up the battery capacity from 4,700 to 4,900 milliamp hours. But for the most part, the full S23 series had pretty decent battery life. And one thing that I don't think Samsung men mentioned on the keynote is they actually upgraded the fingerprint sensor on all S24 series models. It's supposed to be faster this year, although um, last year's was pretty fast as well but it is nice to see that they keep improving on that. But one of the first things I like to do when getting a new Samsung phone is installing a new theme. I think you've seen me do this in my past unboxings. Unfortunately, I did not unbox the S24 Ultra or the base S24. I was in the process of moving, so that was very hectic and I was not able to do that. I was able to at least do this one for y'all. This one's a live wallpaper. That one's kind of cool. Yeah, I think that's one of the coolest things, having these themes on these Samsung phones. It's really easy just to quickly change things up. It even changes up like your icons and things like that. Um, if I'm not using a theme, I'll usually get a wallpaper from like Backdrop or something, or if I find one like on Reddit, but Backdrop is pretty solid as well. When the S24 series launched last month, there was an issue where the vividness was not actually vivid. So if you see here, we have, we're switching from natural to vivid and it's kind of hard to see over camera, but there's really no change in this picture up here. And I'm sure you've seen other YouTubers mention this. So this isn't the first time you might be hearing about this. And then once you go to advanced settings, there's really just the white balance of the red, green, and blue, but that doesn't really do much. But at the time of recording, Samsung has actually released an update to fix that. On the S23 Ultra, I did have it to vivid. So when I switched over, I immediately noticed that the screen on the S24 Ultra was kind of dull. It kind of bothered me at first, but I'm gonna be honest now, I think I prefer natural mode because it's natural, right? So all my pictures look true to what they actually are. We'll take a look at the software update. So if you can see here, it says added vividness option. You can use this option to adjust the vividness on your screen, as well as some other updates to the camera and stability improvements and bug fixes. So that's nice. We'll go ahead and install that now. So you can see what the difference is when we take a look at the vividness. Okay, so now if we go back into display, screen mode, we'll hit vivid. Now we still need to go to advanced settings, but as you can see down here, there is a vividness slider. I don't know if you can see on camera, but going one way to another, hopefully you see some kind of 
change in the vividness? I do, but it might just be one of those things that you have to see in person. But I would say this is pretty on par with what it looked like on the 24 series. So if you do want that vividness, as of watching this video, that update should be out. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. If you are holding off on getting one of the S series because of that, just know that that is fixed. So that's great. And now I'm going to change this to the Quad HD Plus. Whenever you get the Ultra or the Plus, it always comes with Full HD Plus as the default setting. So to get that full resolution, you want to go ahead and manually update that. I mean, if you want, of course, updating it, as you can see, will utilize more battery. But even when doing so, I find that I've gotten decent battery, at least on the Ultra. So we'll just have to see how that turns out with the Plus model. But that slight bump in the battery capacity could be Samsung trying to compensate for that. I'm not sure. And of course, I can't skip over the fact that we have AI features. And those features will be released to the previous model. So if you have the S23 series, you don't have to worry about upgrading to get those AI features. And I believe they should be going to the fold and the flip as well. So to just go through a couple AI, um, I think the most popular one is circle to search. We can see that here. Well, hold down the bottom. Now that I'm using it for the first time, it'll say circle, scribble, or tap anywhere to search. So we'll try it now. I'm gonna circle the Samsung watch. And as you can see, it's pulling up a lot of options for me to choose from. This has been particularly handy when trying to buy things for the new house. As I mentioned, I just moved. So if you take a look at my Instagram, you can see a lot of stuff is kind of house related. So let's see, I mean, that lady's kind of in the way. Let's see if it'll work. Nope, those are her pants. Okay, like lady, get out of the way. Okay. And I think she did say she got it at Walmart. So there we go. There it is, it sold out, but that was pretty easy to find. And I know this isn't a new feature. I know I showed it to my friend who has an iPhone. I was like, hey, look what my phone can do. And she's like, well, I've been doing that forever. I screenshot it and upload it to Google. And I'm like, okay, but this is a lot faster. So here's another one. There we go. Or, I mean, it'll give you alternatives. So I just like having that, especially when you're on Instagram, you see some cute shoes or an outfit, someone doesn't post exactly what it is, and it's easy for you to just search and quickly find something equivalent. So another new AI feature is going to be the wallpapers. So when you go to wallpapers, you'll see this creative section here. We'll take a look at the generative and you have these different options. So it is kind of limited right now. I'm sure they will expand this in the future or hopefully they will, but we'll use this one for example. So we'll take mineral. So you can do a close-up image of whichever mineral. You know, they have a couple listed here. So we'll just put moonstone. And we want, let's say, cool hues. So we'll generate, agree. And it'll give you about four options. So you can select those and set it. And I think once you set it, it should just save as like a wallpaper here so you don't have to like regenerate it. But that's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm also excited just to see how they expand on this in the future since this is just their first release of this. And of course there are other AI features like translate and things like that. I haven't delved too deep into those. I haven't had to use the translate seems really cool, especially if you're traveling. I just haven't been in a situation to where I've needed to use that. I'd rather have the feature and not need it than need it and not have it. So definitely cool there. But overall, that's gonna wrap up my unboxing of the Samsung S24 Plus in marble gray. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, but also let me know if you are upgrading to any of the S24 models. I think if you have the S23 Plus and you're considering upgrading, 
I think you're fine sticking with the S23 Plus, but you are going to get more RAM on this one. You are getting 12 versus the eight that was on the S23 Plus, and you are getting that Quad HD Plus display. So you're getting a better display, you're getting more RAM, you're getting a little bit bigger battery, so if that's important to you, then you know maybe it's worth upgrading. I mean, I, I can't really answer that question for you. It really just comes down to a lot of different things, but the S23 series was great. My husband still has the S23 Ultra. There's no reason for him to upgrade because it is a fantastic phone. Obviously, I like doing these reviews and as a techie, I just get the latest phones. But <laughs> as of average consumer, the S23 Plus, I'm sure is fine. I didn't have the S23 Plus, so I don't have hand-on experience with it, but having the S23 and the S23 Ultra, I think both of those were pretty solid phones. Now, if you're coming from a device that's a couple years older, then yes, coming to the S24 series, whether it's the base, the plus, or the ultra, you're going to see some great quality improvements. But if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more unboxings and tech related videos. But until next time, stay tech savvy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.